Hey everyone, I finally got a new phone and the quality is so much better. Um, wanted to give you guys an update on Bubbles. She is doing really well. I took her to the vet on Tuesday. They were able to extract her um, abscess. She had an abscess on the right side. Um, Predominantly on the left side, but she had a little one forming on the right side as well. So they went ahead and took care of that. The vet didn't end up having to form an incision at all. What he did was he just held her. He was holding her head and explaining like the anatomy and structure of her head to me. And as he was holding her head, the his his hand her his finger was like pressing uh, on the abscess and it ended up extracting or expressing into her mouth it's really gross i know i'm sorry but um he's like oh it just flattened and i'm like oh um okay what is that <laughs> and he's like that no that's okay that's that's fine that it extracted it just doesn't usually do that for me i usually have to put them under anesthesia and then make an incision and all that. And he's like, but since it extracted, I'll, we'll just continue to um, express it that way and get it out that way. So we went ahead and did that side and then discovered the other side was forming. And he took like a cotton swab and swabbed it all out of her mouth and it was really gross, but really happy to, um, you know, Really happy to have everything removed, and uh, I'm sure it feel it was very uncomfortable for Bubbles at the time. She did not look like she enjoyed any of that, and I felt really sad. She looked so uncomfortable, but I'm sure she feels a lot better now. Um, the vet was like, this actually saved you a lot of money because I would have had to put her under, and um, you know that wouldn't have been good for her either, so it's actually better for her. Um, so you both kind of won in this one. Um, so he just said, like, uh, make sure everything is good with your setup. I showed him a picture of my setup. He said, it's, it's really good. You're doing a lot for your turtle. And they, you know, see a lot of improper setups and just get a ton of misinformation. Uh, with turtles, he seemed, like, very knowledgeable with the vet. It's the same vet I took my birds to but different vet because they have uh, exotic vets for birds. It's pre predominantly a bird vet, but they also do, you know, other small pets too. So, um, anyway, I was happy he, with him. He seemed very knowledgeable and he took good care of bubbles and he thoroughly inspected uh, her. They weren't sure if it's a boy or a girl either. The vet said that she or he needs to grow more. And the vet assistant was like pretty set on Bubbles being a boy. So I don't know anymore. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna stick with uh, calling Bubbles a female, but I'm not sure. Um, they also said that she is, they think she's around like two, which I don't know if I agree with that. It's really hard to tell uh, the age of a turtle. Like you can go based off of their shell color, their size, but um, basically that's what the vet was thinking, that she's younger than the eight years. I, I was told that she's like eight years old from the lady I got her from, but he was like, no, I think she's younger than that. But I don't know, I I'm not sure about that one. I'm kind of skeptical on her age because I feel like the lady that gave her to me would know because she got bubbles for her son for his birthday and then he like grew up, got older and um, I think he's like on his own now. Like I think she said he, he's going to college or something and just overall kind of lost interest in the turtle over the years. And that's why she ended up getting rid of um, the turtle. And so I'm not sure. And I, I wouldn't be surprised, I told the vet that you know, she was living in a 10-gallon. The lady told me that if you keep a turtle in a 10-gallon tank, the whole myth that they won't grow, but, you know, that's we all know that's just due to improper nutrition, improper care, and their growth gets stunted. It's not that they 
won't grow. Like they won't grow, but it's just due to improper care. It's not due to being <clears throat> in a smaller enclosure. So that's also something to consider and factor in. I love how she's sitting on these rocks. She's been doing that a lot and it's really cool looking to me. She like grips onto that one and we'll just hang out there. Um, I have I have some tank maintenance to do. Like you can see I have brown algae growing over there. It's not gonna affect anything. Like the main concern with keeping the tank clean is the water quality. So the water quality, um, I usually like to keep a lot of plants in my aquariums, but since turtles are notorious for eating plants, I can't really do that with her. She'll, I tried, but she ate all the plants that I had on this. And I use that as like a, a way to purify and add like additional, almost filter, filtration in my tanks. But since I can't do that with her, I did buy um, some stuff for the my canister filter over here from Amazon. Uh, just, I've been wanting to redo my filter, my canister filter and enhance it, so I did get stuff to improve it and enhance it and add some really good filtration. Uh, I never added activated carbon in there, so I'm gonna do that. I also got like another fluval um, uh, chemical filtration that I'm gonna put in there, and it's just gonna help remove a lot of the uh, ammonia and impurities in the water and really purify it and make it pristine, which is what we need. Um, but you can see she looks really good. There's no bulges. Like, she's been swimming, eating normal. I have her, um, oh, I scared her a little. I have her green leaf lettuce. She's been nibbling on that today, and she's been basking normally. I did get a new thermometer for the basking area, so I got one of the, inf um, the kind that you just shoot at the spot and see, you know, what the temperature is. I got one of those. I've been meaning to get one of those. Um, <clears throat> so finally got one so I can test out her basking area. Um, and then I got another, a new thermometer for her water. Um, I never, one, of, one other thing to consider is that the cysts could have formed due to water temperature. Um, her water temperature has been good from what I, when I first put her in here, I made sure the temps were good and everything, but because it's been colder out, it's possible that the temperature could have dropped at night in her water and that could have affected um, things as well. Because if their water's too cold, and if their immune system isn't the greatest, um, that can definitely have an effect on illness. You want everything to be just right. So um, definitely add a heater in the winter if your house is going to be colder. I didn't do that, so that could have been another thing on my end, but I figured uh, we keep our house at a certain temperature. That's probably not going to affect her at all. Um, but it could have, I'm not sure, because the thermometer I had in here I had to take out because the batteries um, died. So I also ordered new batteries for that. And yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how I enhance my filter over here when I do that. I got new sponges for it. I have some new media to put in there and then also the chemical filtration. I also got a new... Uh, RV filter because you are supposed to change those out depending on the filter that you get. Uh, it's typically every six months or some of them will have like every year or you just got to read the packaging. They'll tell you like how many gallons of water until you uh, need to change it out. So I got a new one because it's about that time. I've had her for about like six or seven months at this point. So yeah, I just want to make sure everything's good. The vet, <laughs> she's so cute. Um, the vet visit went really well. I will have a follow-up appointment with her. Uh, I have to schedule that still, but it's supposed to be when her antibiotics are done. I have to give her antibiotic shots, which 
today she is due for one, so I'm going to give her um, an antibiotic shot today. It's every three days, and it's going to be my first time giving her one. They're actual like needle injections, they're not oral injections, and you have to um, inject it between her head and her arm, so like in her shoulder area. Um, so that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll film that too for you guys to see. Um, if you want to see <clears throat> how that process goes, that might be a little bit tricky, but she's doing really well with the antibiotics um, that they gave her. I'm sure those have made a difference as well. Uh, I did film the whole process of taking her to the vet, so I might upload that video still, but that was on my old phone and not the best quality. I'm just really happy with this quality. The camera quality on this is like so much better. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's how Bubbles is doing. Thank you for like the good thoughts, the good vibes. It ended up working out. And I'll also maybe film the follow-up appointment just so that you guys can follow along with her little journey. Uh, like I said in my last one though, take care of yourself, take care of your pets. Like, this is probably on me because I've just been really busy, like, with life and I know that's not an excuse at all. Like, you have to have a backup plan if you're going to be busy. Like, you have to keep up on your pets. Like, Otherwise, you shouldn't have pets. This is it goes for myself, too. Like, if you don't have a way to properly care for your pets or you don't have anyone that you can delegate the responsibility to and be like, hey, I'm really, I'm going to be really busy on Friday. Would you mind taking over and just, I'm going to show you how to do it. All you have to do is do a little partial water change and that's it. Or, hey, can you feed her in the morning, turn her lights on, whatever you need to do. You need to make sure you have a backup plan, a plan A, B, and C for your pets so that they're still being taken care of because they're living animals and they deserve to be taken care of all the time. Their lives are a lot shorter than ours, so we have to make sure that we're providing them with a, a good life as best as we can. And I know, like, I, I'm really hard on myself, but... I try and give myself like a little bit of leeway, like it's going to be okay, uh, accidents happen, sometimes life happens, stuff gets in the way. And you guys should give yourself that grace too because um, no one's perfect. Like there are some people that are doing everything exactly right when it comes to caring for their pets and their pets will still get sick anyway. That's why you have to also make sure you have a vet. Uh, like before you get a pet, it's a good idea to pick out a vet, especially if it's an exotic pet or a small pet. Vets are a little bit harder to come by. Um, so you just want to make sure you find that. So if anything does happen or you have any emergencies, you're prepared. But this is a really long video. Sorry about that. Um, I'm sure you guys are all doing great with your pets. And I'm going to try and do better. And this was a learning experience for me. Uh, never owned a turtle before. So it's all kind of new, honestly. Um, but yeah, she's doing good. She's uh, a lot of fun. And I'm excited to make some improvements to her enclosure. I haven't given up on my outside pond idea for her. Like, the vet said that turtles that live outside are, of course, the healthiest turtles that have a pond because they have access to the sun. Like, everything is on nature's time, right? So they uh, get more nutrition. They have a variety, a bigger variety of food also. They... Uh, just do better. They have bigger space typically. Um, so I really want to give that to her as well and then just keep maybe a tank set up for her in case there's any like severe or you know like freezing temps or anything like that where I need to bring her in. But 
yeah i hope you guys are doing well i'm gonna wrap it up this time i know i've almost wrapped this video up a few times now but bubble says bye and uh we will see you in the next one all right everyone